Hello everyone, my name is Nils Orr and welcome to my vault. Today on Fallout New Vegas 101, we are going to talk about one of your companions, Arcade Israel Ganon. Arcade Israel Ganon was born in 2246 within the Enclave base at Navarro, which makes him 35 years old when you first meet. His dad used to be an Enclave officer before he was killed during a mission while Arcade was still an infant. He doesn't know any specific about how he died though. This led him to become closer to his mother and the creation of a surrogate family formed by the squad his father was in, calling themselves the Enclave Remnants. Including Arcade and his mother, there were seven people within this family. When the NCR took over Navarro, all of them moved out to the Mojave Wasteland in order to avoid being captured by the Republic and the Brotherhood of Steel, who were actively seeking any former member of the Enclave. Being a part of what is considered a fascist paramilitary organization was not viewed well, even if you've actually done nothing wrong yourself. Once settled, they've parted ways and kept their relationship a secret, in fear of reprisal if they were to be discovered. Arcade joined the followers of the Apocalypse, where he received a training in medicine and started working as a researcher at the Old Moment Fort in Side. Arcade's mother died at some point from an unknown cause, but we can speculate that the fact that he is now doing research on healing medicine has something to do with it. Maybe she died from some random illness caught in the wasteland. With his blonde hair and pink glasses, assorted with your typical follower's lab coat, Arcade seems to try to blend in with his environment by being discreet and not drawing attention. This mostly due to the fact that he wants to avoid being identified as a former member of the Enclave. His use of self-depreciation remarks and jokes to deflect personal questions can also be related to his needs to protect himself and who he was. Despite that, Arcade is not ashamed of who he is as a person. He can be quite open about it, like when he casually refers to his attraction towards men or when he put front and foremost his desire to help others. But he still remains afraid that if people found out from what organization he came from, they will turn against him no matter the good he had done. He also doesn't like the Enclave itself, or rather what it stands for, but he loves some of the people that were in it, clearly making distinctions between the organization and the people who composed it. This sort of practical sense of reality which Arcade displays is also combined with a sense of idealism. Arcade has the main ideas to be able to improve people's way of life, a thing he has in common with the followers' ideology. But he is still able to stay practical in admitting that he, as well as mostly anybody, probably won't make a difference in the great scheme of things, but if he can make a good difference for at least some, that will already be enough. Nonetheless, he is still keeping in the back of his mind that doing grand changes for all would be great, that it most certainly won't happen, and doing some on a little scale is more likely and doable, but it is what is fueling him. Adding to that, Arcade still remains fond of and loyal to his former NK family members, as well as his mother and his dad who he hardly knew. This led him to have an inner conflict about his identity. Does he have to let go of his past with the Enclave to be himself? Or should he integrate it with who he is now and use whatever material and knowledge he has gained from it? On a more meta level, the name Arcade could be derived from Arcadia, which refers to a utopian vision of pastoralism and harmony with nature. Seems quite fitting for the character, considering his idealism tendency, his goal to achieve a better living for people, and that he is doing research about naturally occurring compounds for medicine use. Arcade's search for identity relates to New Vegas' overall theme by being caught between who he was, who he is now, and what he could be. Like Arcade, New Vegas could be integrated by something relying from past experiences, such as Mr. House's nostalgia for Las Vegas, NCR old world government ways of doing, or the legion desire for a revival of ancient Rome, or trying something new, a new identity born from itself by being independent of outside forces. To recruit Arcade, please go see the part of the Old Moment Ford video talking about it. By recruiting him, you will benefit from his better healing perk, which will increase the health benefit from any consumable by 20%, as well as his plasma pistol. 
Considering Arcade's benevolent personality, you need to be aware of not gaining too many dislike points with him. You will gain points when During the whitewash quest, you either go against the interest of wayside people or kill Anderson. If you go to the fort, answer him that you are suggesting that Caesar could be the best way for New Vegas. After having spoken to Hilden, saying that it all comes down to numbers after all, no matter the cost for people. Or if you murder non style innocents. He will also immediately depart it from you if you do one of the following. When he challenges you, tell him to leave if he is not happy. You enter the legate camp to help Caesar for the attack on Hooverdam. Convince the remnants to help the legion. Activate the Archimedes 1 weapon at Helios 1 during the quest that lucky old son. Or if you report back to Caesar after having killed President Kimball. It is Arcade's personal quest where he offers to bring back together the Enclave Remnants in order to help fighting off the Legion during the Second Battle of Overdam. Note that completing the quest will prevent you from being able to have Arcade as a companion until the end of the game. To activate it, you need to earn 5 trust points with Arcade. You will gain them if you do the followings. Travel to the Crash Vector Bird here. Go inside the Silver Rush in Freeside. Travel inside the Repcon headquarters building. Go to the fort and answer him that you are just here to hear Caesar and then get out. Reassuring him with flatters after having heard Thomas Hilden. During that lucky old son quest, before activating the power plant, agree to arcade suggestion or pass the intelligence check of 7. Or during the whitewash quest, arcade will do remarks, answer him with answers going in the sense of the greater good for Westside population and by protecting Tom Henderson. To activate the quest, you will also need to be at certain points in the main quest. Having destroyed the Brotherhood Bunker for Mr. House during the House Always Wins Part 5, having Yes Man installed inside the Lucky 38 mainframe, or having killed Mr. House and report back to Colonel Moore. Once triggered, Arcade will come talk to you about his reunion plan. Accept to help him. You will now have to go find the five remnants. Daisy Whitman, a vertebrate pilot inside Novak's motel. Cannibal Johnson, former soldier found inside this cave. Dr. Henry at Jacobstown. He will only come after you've completed the quest, guess who I saw today. Orin Moreno, a heavy trooper soldier who has a deep hatred for the NCR. You will find him inside his house and Judah Krieger, their former squad leader, who is now passing the time inside Westside. Each time you meet one, Arcade will then talk to you about them and ask you questions about how you perceive them. Your answer can go in the sense that people should be proud of their past or that they should be able to let it go. Each one will give you one word which, when all combined, allows you to open the remnants bunker here. Go there, open it, then meet the remnants inside the control room. There, talk to Krieger and tell him which side you want the remnants to fight for. If you tell them to side with the Legion, Johnson and Arcade will leave without any mean to hold them back. If you tell them to side with the NCR, Moreno will leave the room. Follow him. He will have equipped himself with an enclave armor and tells you that there is no way he will fight for the Republic. You can pass a speech check of 80 to convince him to do it, otherwise you will have no choice but to fight him. Once it is done, Arcade will talk to you to ask what he should do now in preparation for the second battle of Hooverdam. You will have the choice between telling him that he should go back to Freeside and help the followers, or join the remnants during the attack on the dam. Arcade will then leave you to go gather some things. Now go back to Krieger before going to talk to Daisy for your power armor training. She will give you a brand new enclave power armor as she feels wearing it will just cramp up the space inside the cockpit. Leave the room to complete the quest. Once you have left the bunker, Arcade will come talk to you. If you told him to fight at the dam, he will be equipped with his father power armor. If you told him to stay with the followers, he will give it to you. Arcade's endings will vary upon if he is alive or not, who won the second battle of Uvedem? If you sold Arcade into slavery as Caesar's personal doctor and if later on Caesar remained alive or not? And if you completed this quest, whether you made him join the Enclave Remnants or stay with the followers? 
If he died, despite his pure gold fueled by his idealisms, the brutality of the Mojave claimed his life. If you sold him as a slave and Caesar is alive, Arcade remained his doctor for several years, Caesar started to lack his intellectual sparing with him, despite Arcade's reluctance. But ultimately, he couldn't cope with his situation anymore, so one day, he picked up the scalpel and disemboweled himself. Caesar mourned his loss for months. If you sold him as a slave and Caesar died, the new legate quickly grew tired of Arcade's sarcasm and had him crucified. If you sold him as a slave but the legion lost at the dam, Arcade was a casualty during the legion retreat and his body was dumped in a ravine. If the NCR won and Arcade joined the remnants, proud to have helped push back the legion, his past was unfortunately discovered. He was then forced out of the followers and pursued by many factions who had a beef against the enclave, forcing him to go deep in the eastern plains. If he joined the followers, even though he was sad that Freeside couldn't remain independent, Arcade was glad that the Legion was pushed back. After patching up civilians for a while, he went back to NCR territory to become a teacher with the followers there. If the Legion won and Arcade was with the remnants on the NCR side, during the NCR retreat of the Mojave, he helped protecting the civilians but an NCR ranger recognized his armor as being a part of the enclave. Arcade was then arrested, trialed as a war criminal, and imprisoned indefinitely. If the Legion won and Arcade joined the followers, knowing that the Legion will harm Freeside citizens, Arcade started organizing the evacuation. Unfortunately, a Legion explorer spotted his operation, and he, along with his group, were all arrested and put down. If House won and Arcade joined the remnants, he couldn't bear to see Mr. House new control over New Vegas citizens. He then sadly left the Mojave for parts unknown. If he joined the followers, Arcade was sad to see New Vegas fall under the tight controlled grip of Mr. House, so he went back to California. There, delusioned with the followers, he settled on the outskirts of the town called Barnyard, where he worked happily as a family doctor. If he chose an independent New Vegas and Arcade joined the remnants, Proud of both having pushed back the Legion at Hoover Dam and having New Vegas still remain independent of both NCR and House, Arquette yet still wasn't all content of how things were. He remained here and used his enclave knowledge and technology to keep order wherever he could. If he joined the followers, the Legion defeat was a relief, and yet, the newly obtained independence of New Vegas wasn't all he hoped it would be. He stayed and did his best to help the locals govern themselves. On the next video, we are going to see the history of the Enclave, and after that, we will talk about another of your companion, Raoul Terada. Thank you for watching, and see you later!